Hello everybody, my name is Mr. Chua and today I'm going to share with you how to solve this particular math problem sum which is extracted from one of the top school papers. Okay, so to solve a problem sum there's one thing very important that you need to master that is to know what exactly are the keywords. Okay, in our math tuition we even tell students how to confirm the keyword that you assume is 100% keywords to confirm 100% keywords, okay? So these are the keywords that we have underlined for you. And of course, that's most important part also, that is you've got to know how to make use of the keywords. How to make use of the keywords, otherwise keywords are simply totally useless, okay? If you do not know how to make use of it. And why we need to extract keywords? Because during exam, there's no time for you to key in all the information to your brain to analyze. You've got to extract keywords to be fast. And too much information being keyed key in into your brain, you might overload yourself or exhaust yourself. Too little information, it might not give you enough information to know how to solve. So the right amount of information, the right keywords is pretty important, okay? So that you get the right thing, okay? Get it? Okay, let's watch how I solve this particular math problem sums okay and after underline the keywords this first sentence is pretty quite difficult for certain students to understand so during test or exam how are you going to so-called understand it fast easy and must of course 100 percent correct okay how so when i read read this two over seven less i will not read two over seven less i will read as two less get the first understanding first get this part first do less so which means that Jeremy is shorter than Keith do less so once I get it then I will talk about the 7 so which means that Keith will be 7 units and Jeremy will have 2 units less once I get the meaning, then I will draw a proper model already. Okay? Get the meaning first. Don't assume because once you get the first part assumed, all your particular answers will be all assumption and you might get it wrong totally and you will get zero marks. It's quite serious, okay? So the first part is pretty important. So get the understand first, okay? Then after that, draw a proper one already. So keep this 7 units 4 1, 2, 3, 4 3 parts so this is cheap Jeremy is 2 unit less so Jeremy is 2 unit less can you see it? 2 unit less why 2 unit? 2 unit less total 7 unit for cheap if you can understand, it will be pretty good. Otherwise, you can recognize the patterns. It also helps, okay? Because our brains love patterns, okay? So once you get it here ready, so then you can go on to the second part. So the first part, just put a tick. That means you have done it already, okay? So after Jeremy give 224 to keep, Jeremy give 224. So there's nothing much I can draw, but I can do something about here. So you can do whatever you know first. Doesn't mean from the top to the bottom. The key thing is to know which part you are able to solve, solve it first. Those you are not so sure can put it later, okay? So Jeremy will be less. So I must draw Jeremy less. It can be any cutting over here but never cut along this line, okay? Otherwise, you will think that the one unit or two units could do four. That would be pretty uh, dangerous, okay? So just do a rough cut here, but never cut the same here, here, or here. Otherwise, you might think that the particular one unit or two units could do four, so be careful of it, okay? You cannot be here, definitely, because it should be less, because it's given away to who? Keith. So Keith will be extended. Okay, extended. You don't need to be extend too long, but of course roughly about here. Okay, 
try to draw as accurate as possible. Of course, it cannot be 100%, okay? But the basic guideline must be there, okay? So, 2, 2, 4. So, you can go this dotted line down and this to represent 2, 2, 4. And this 2, 2, 4 comes to where? Here. Okay, it makes sense already, right? So Jeremy gave 224 to Keith. So I write K here. Okay, so this part so called has been done already. Now we need to input here. Jeremy left is 3 units, so I cut it 3 units. Make sure the cutting over here don't be exactly the same as here. Otherwise, you will thought that each unit here is 3 units, and you will thought that 224 is 2 units, and that's totally gone okay so be careful of this so here is 3 and 7 units keep so here must be 4 remember don't draw this line along here otherwise your thing is to do 4 all these particular small things is very pretty important okay it will lead you to the right thinking or to the wrong thinking depend on how we put it okay so after that what you're going to do okay mm. So this part, Jeremy, left, okay, 3 units, and 7 for Keith. So what they want is find the total amount, okay, so that's something very important. So you can see that Jeremy is given to Keith, okay, and the Keith reverse back will become here. And you must see how, what are the things that are common. So you can see that their total are the same. I repeat, the total are the same. Why? Because I give it to you and you give it to me and therefore the total remains the same. Okay, so how to present it in a proper way? Okay, just put it this way. Okay, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10. Okay. This is 12 units, this is 10 units. Okay. If you want to work out in a way, but you might need to handle a bigger number, okay, but you do not like to think too much, you can do a slapping method, okay. This is what we so call slapping method. We must make them to be common, okay. Before much thinking, you can extract the number over here, okay. Otherwise, you can go to go to the lowest term, and find the common factor, uh, common multiples, okay? So, otherwise you can use slapping method. I will show you the slapping method quite easy. So times 10, it will be 1, 2, all units. Times 12, it will be 1, 2, all units. Simple. This one times 12, this part times 10. Okay? So after that, very simple. This time 12, right? So every part here is 12 units, 12 units, 12 units. Of course, you don't have to write down in every box because I need to show it to you. So I write down everything, okay? So over here will be 10 units, 10 units, 10 units, 10 units because 12 times 10, okay? So this is called slapping method. I slap you, you slap me. So to make it to be fair, okay? Fair, okay? So 10 units, 10 units, 10 units. 10 units, 10 units. Okay, during your test or exam, you don't have to write down everything uh, unless you're really uh, not so sure because it's a waste of time, okay? For here, I need to demo for you, okay? So after that, it will be quite simple. Count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I've got 50 units minus 1, 2, 3. 3 of 12 will be 36 units. You will have 20 uh, 14 units, sorry. Okay? 14 units. So you reverse check. 6, 6 plus 4, 10. So 3, 4, 5. Okay, so once you it correct, you can start solving already. 2, 2, 4. So 1 unit will be 1. So 2, 2, 4 divided by 14. It will be 1, 14. 6, 7, 8, 84. So last digit is 4 so I will use 6 
0 simple ok so here will be 16 so what does the question want now total amount for the two boys so is 120 units so 120 units ok how to do a multiplication fast very simple you see a 0 here you bring down the 0 so this thing times 12 Make sure everything is neatly done in order, in a systematic order, okay? So you will not make any kind of mistake and you, your mind will be very clear what you are doing, okay? 6 times 2, 12. So 1 times, one times 2, 2, 3. So 0, 6, 1, total 1, 9, 2. So your answer will be 1, 9, 2, 0. So the answer is in dollar sign. So just write dollar units and that is the final answer. Simple? Hope you enjoy my video. Thank you.